Well, hey neighbors, welcome to the shed shop. My uncle's in a uh, critical care unit. Uh, I'm about to show you a video of what happened at the hospital and I want to give you a little bit of pre-context. Uh, I'm disabled and I have a service dog and uh, most Americans don't know the rights around a service dog. Uh, you are gonna see in this video, the nurse, uh, Brenda or whatever her damn name is, Tyrant, uh, uh, she says she knows the Americans with Disabilities Act very well and my dog has to be identifiable with a vest and this and that, etc. And then at the end of the video, you're going to see what the corporal has to say about that because he completely contradicts what she said. Uh, basically, my uncle has been sick. Uh, I took him to the hospital early this morning. It's October 31. And uh, I dropped him uh, at the front door. I went in and asked them to help me get my uncle inside because my back is thrown out. Uh, and just helping him to the truck was excruciating and basically I went and parked the truck uh, and I walked over I had all his identification and information and everything else uh, including the fact that he's a type 2 diabetic because he's septic and he's not in his right mind at that point um, the, the second I walked through the door where my uncle was into the triage room uh, the nurse tells me you can't bring that dog in here dogs aren't allowed here uh, and I immediately informed her it's a service animal uh, and she she said no you can't have a dog in here there's people afraid of dogs I said ma'am it is a service animal and you cannot deny me access uh, because I have a service animal you cannot refuse me access to this hospital and uh, basically I had the door slammed in my face and then they brought over you're going to see a dog uh, a security guard at a hospital having a dog wearing a totally different uniform than all of the other security officers at this hospital. And uh, you're going to see his dog is just hyper and out of control. And my dog growls a little bit, but I correct the behavior just as the Americans with Disabilities Act allows me to. Uh, it's about 38 minutes long, but I encourage you, watch this, learn from it, see all the cop tyrants, the security guard tyrants, and the nurse tyrants, especially the one in glasses that says, okay, you can't, you, uh, you're you going to argue with me, you need to leave. Uh, watch her. And... Uh, we're, we're going to be filing a lawsuit uh, because at this point I'm terrified to go to the hospital because they have hundreds and hundreds of staff. And if I bring my dog with me, I'm probably going to be faced with uh, a pushback. Okay, uh, so basically, um, uh, sorry, I'm a mess right now, you guys, because my uncle was just moved to critical care. Uh, basically, uh, what this has brought about is uh, hopefully some training for this Columbia Police Department. Uh, I think the staff is going to be trained. And then uh, in the future, I'm going to bring you the, again, guys, when I learn how to fucking edit, I'm trying so hard. I don't know why I can't figure that shit out, how to edit fully. Um, in the future, I will bring you uh, some phone calls with the corporal uh, with filing my complaint and uh, as well as with the uh, hospital staff. Um, but for now, enjoy this video and stay tuned to the end. Let's find out what the fuck happened. Um, oh, okay, so what's Title II and Title Three say? Right. Please don't continue to get closer to me. Yes, sir. I know. So, what does it train for? Uh, first off, the first question you're allowed to ask is, is the dog required for a disability? Yes, I will answer yes. The second question, what does the dog do to help me? I only have to give you one. She helps keep my balance. I'm disabled, neighbor. I've been run over. I know the law. So it's a therapy dog? No, sir. Service dog. I've been run over. She is trained to help me keep my balance. If I fall over, she assists me up. If I drop something, she picks it up for me. Right. She can't She's not growling right now. I have three. I have, listen, neighbor, I have three. I have three opportunities Okay, per, per, this is the Americans with Disabilities Act, per incident, per I'm incident. getting loud with you, but when we walked out here, she brought these guys. I understand, but did I not put her behavior back under control, which I'm allowed three opportunities if she makes a mistake, okay? Because look at your dog, all excited and hyped up. This is not a standard situation here, okay? But what you're not going to tell me is that I have to leave with my dog and I have to leave my uncle here. I know the law. Well, we don't have to let you back because you're not a patient. Oh, oh so now you're going to say because I'm not a patient. Well, no, and, hold on. You are. Hold on. We don't have to allow you back. Hold on. In normal circumstances, I would be allowed in the room with my uncle. Okay? 
So, uh, you're just security or police? You're the police department, Columbia? Okay, excellent. Uh, I'd like to file a report for discrimination. Okay, they're violating the law, discriminating against me right now as a disabled American. Shh, nine, 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 nine. So, okay, nine. Calm, 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 calm. I don't answer questions. At, at this point, that's where I'm at. That, that was disrespectful, sir. I'm a human being. My uncle's very ill. Okay. I had to bring my dog because I'm disabled. Okay. Uh, they're violating my rights as a disabled American. And Lauren over there said that service animals are not allowed because people are afraid of dogs. And she needs to read Title II and Title Three of the 1991 Americans with Disabilities Act. I know my rights. I've been disabled since 2011. I've had this dog for five years. No, no. You're allowed to ask two questions. He, he, he already messed it up, their security guard. Okay? And for you guys to bring a dog over here like that to intimidate me, not okay. Not n them. I'm sorry, not you, them. That's not okay. That, that is his dog. It stays with him anywhere he goes. He's security. So when he comes in here, the dog comes with him. My dog's behavior was more under control, way more under control than his. So this is me because I, I don't know the type of questions or is the animal required for disability? That's question one. The second question is, what specific task does the dog perform for the disability? And I've already answered both. And the facility didn't even bother to ask. She just sat there and said, well, there are people are afraid of dogs, this and that. No, I've heard that excuse thousands of times. It, it, it says right in there, it's very clear, it says right in there that they cannot deny a person with a disability or their service animal because people have allergies, because they're afraid of dogs, this, that. The restaurants try that all the time. Well, we serve food here. Doesn't matter. Anywhere the general public is allowed to go, I'm allowed to go. Okay? And the general public is normally allowed to go in the room to see their family. So are you here to see? No, my uncle is here. Okay. Nine, uh, nine, 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 nine. I think rallying up all of this is unacceptable. We just have to No, not you guys, them. This, this staff here, they clearly need to be trained. And most Americans do. It's kind of sad. Title two and three, neighbor. Here they are searching. For any excuse to force titles two and three out. I believe it's title two and three. Oh, cool. The Americans with Disabilities Act. I'll uh, just Google Americans with Disabilities Act service animals and it'll come up. Click the link and start reading. I mean, I know the law. I know the law. Well, I'm looking up Tennessee. It doesn't matter. This is federal law. It's fe Americans with Disabilities Act. It's federal law, guy. There's no state law that supersedes it. State law does not supersede federal law. Federal law supersedes state law. It does not matter with the Americans with Disabilities Act neighbor. I'm telling you. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Lance 4485. Lance what? 44805. And you, sir? Lane 44846. Lane 44846. Great, you guys will be named in a lawsuit if you make me leave. <laughs> well, they, now, now they're going to get sued if they ask me to leave. They're already going to get sued for violating my rights and closing that door on me when my uncle's very ill on the other side of that door. And I had his information. Is he here in the emergency room? Yes, I just brought him in. Okay. And I went out to park the truck and get my dog. So right now, this by law is a medical device, not a pet. That's what she is. 
That's what they consider it. They didn't even ask me. She just flat, flat out nine, 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 nine. Well, first off, I need to be able to focus on my dog, and all this attention right now is not good because she's not able to focus on me. I understand. No, not no I, I, I understand, but I said I need a minute to get her refocused because under the law, I'm allowed to get her refocused when the behavior hey, gets like that. She's the charge nurse over this unit. Uh, she's here to find out what's going neighbor, on. Neighbor, Angel, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Look. 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 Calm. Calm. Yes, calm. Calm. Uh, your nurse violated my rights. The no, second, she did not. What happened? ma'am, can you this, tell me what happened? Uh, if you can stay out of my space, please. You can get out. Uh, I asked politely. You understand the Americans with Disabilities Act allows me here. I'm here to talk to you and try to figure out what happened. I am not talking to you and yelling you across. I understand, the whole but can we can we not approach any closer than that, please? I've asked politely. Okay, what's going okay. on? Okay, as soon as I walked and in. You can't Okay, as soon as I walked in, okay, okay, the lady told me the dog is not allowed, okay, okay. and then she, I said, yes, she is, she's a service dog, okay. I'm an American with a disability, okay, and then she immediately said, well, she's not allowed here, people are afraid of dogs, this and that, and that's not allowed, okay. you're allowed to ask two questions with, yes, the Americans okay. with Disabilities so, Act. Okay, she is allowed to ask because your dog does not She didn't to... ask any questions. Okay. Well, she was trying to get I understand that. Oh my goodness. Okay, she's gonna ask. I'm not trying to be mean. There's no. She didn't ask nothing. She doesn't have to have a vest. Okay, but usually we see service dogs with vests on. She doesn't have to. I know, but she doesn't have to. Well, you're you. If you knew the law, you would know that the first question you ask is, is the animal required for a disability? If I answer yes, then you go to question two. Okay, well, she's also, are you the patient? No, my uncle is. Okay. And if this dog was not with me, I would be allowed back there, where the general public is allowed to be in the room with their family. She wasn't letting you uh, in the triage room? No, she told me I need to leave the hospital. Okay. I thought we were. But you're telling me the staff is doing something different than she did? Down. Good. Calm. Calm. Um, she was trying to take care. She didn't have time to sit there and talk to you so, and try to figure out what was going on when she's trying to take care of something. The patient. Telling me Her dogs are not was, allowed. Telling me dogs are not allowed not and slamming the door in my face. face. You don't want me to get any closer to than you to this. How are you going to sit in that room that is way smaller? Uh, right now I don't because I am surrounded by people. And a dog. I asked for my space because he's got another dog over there. There's two police officers here. I'm obviously already upset. You guys are violating my rights. You're trying to tell me that uh, she, she, she's in the right telling me that, well, the dog's not allowed because people are afraid of dogs. They have allergies. Read the Americans with Disabilities Act. She said, you said it's a service dog. No, yeah. I told her right away. No, it was not before I said it's okay. a service dog. I told her right away. Not, not for violation. Not because I have not a service dog. Him, her, no, general. no, ma'am. Both her reason you. was the dog. I'm not gonna argue with you. Her reason was the dog, ma'am. No. Yes, it was. You can say what you want. Okay? I have it recorded. Okay. So she has a right for you to not be in that room. You not for the reason she gave. Not for the reason she, she gave. Was trying to take care of the patient. No, neighbor. I'm not arguing with nothing. No. At this point, if you make me leave at all, it's going to be because of the dog. Because the basis of all this was because of my service animal. We can do this right, and I cannot sue you guys. You can sit out here again. Uh, so you're going to you're going to deny me access to the room of my uncle because I have a service dog, correct? Then why is it then? No. This is because I'm trying to conversate with you, and you can do nothing but argue with me. 
I'm not arguing, ma'am. You're telling, you're calling me a liar. Respectfully, you called me a liar about what she did, what she said. Okay, I, I want to, I want to report file, gentlemen. This is a violation of my rights. Uh, can you get your lieutenant out here, please? Okay. Well, then I'll ask him for the lieutenant. Because this is not okay. This is not okay. Not okay. Nine. Not okay. Nine. Look. Look. Up. Look. Look. Calm. Look. 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 Calm. 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 I don't answer questions. I think I'm done talking. Until the until the uh, commander gets here. Calm. Calm, calm, stay calm. I'd also like the hospital, whoever the hospital administrator is, never mind the charge nurse. I want her boss out here. This is not okay, you guys. This is just not okay. This is not okay. This is so not okay. You guys want to do this while my, my, my uncle's sick in there? This is not okay. And then she wants to sit there and consistently call me a liar, man. That's not okay. So, if I may ask, you walked in, what, what Immediately, she told me, the dog's not allowed in here. And I said, ma'am, she's a service animal. And she said, I don't care. The dog's not allowed in here. It's okay. She said, the dog's not allowed in here. And I said, ma'am, you're violating my rights. And she says, no, the dog can't come in. People are afraid of dogs, have allergies, this and that. That's not an excuse. That is exactly what she said to me. Exactly. Nine. Nine. So, this isn't me No, it had nothing to do. No, because her very specific immediate reason was the dog. So they're, they're not getting around a lawsuit at this point. Okay. At this point, when I'm going to be talked to like that, I'm suing the hospital. And no Period. Reason, me and another officer here is we got, we were already over here, and they had called us over because there was something going on. So that's why I'm talking to you today, okay? Calm. Hi there. I'm Brenda Bishop. I'm the ER manager. Do you know the Americans with Disabilities Act? Okay, so that, that nurse that just kicked me out of there because of my dog, specifically because of my dog, needs to be retrained then. The act also states that you need to provide identification. No, I don't. No, I don't, ma'am. You're violating the law. No, I do not. Well, I'm sorry. No, I, I do not, ma'am. Uh, your policy does not supersede federal law. You are going to get the hell suit out of you if you guys don't get in check with the law right now. I'm telling you. Okay. This is not okay. I, not I, okay. I you, you, you're trying to tell me that your policy supersedes federal law. It does not. They're not required to wear a vest. There's no such thing as registration unless it's with a private online company. And it does not. They don't have to be registered with the government. All those things people think. No, ma'am. I know the law. I've been disabled since 2011, and I've had service animals since then. I know the law. I apologize, but I'm not going to allow you to bring that animal into this hospital. Right now, it's a medical device. And you're gonna get sued. Your name, please. Your name, please. Okay, I'm gonna name you personally in a lawsuit. I want her name as well. Full name. Stick with me. That's all you have to do. No, ma'am. Not at this point. Do you have a medical reason to be seen in our emergency department? My uncle's here, and I'm allowed here with my service animal, my medical device. I, I, I'm, I'm imploring you to go research it real quick. I'll give you one more chance to research it and learn. Otherwise, I will sue. I promise you. This is not okay. Well, we're not trying to be difficult. But yes, you are. No, we're not, sir. You're telling me I'm not allowed here. You're telling me your, your, your rules supersede federal law. No, it does not. You guys need to look this up, please. This is important stuff here. Okay? I am serious. This is the law, and I know it. They're not required to wear a vest. There's not required to be a tag. Everything everybody thinks about registrations are with private online companies and people can just order a vest and order a tag that says service animal. 
That does not mean anything. It means nothing. You're only allowed to ask two questions. I was immediately kicked out because of the dog, because people are afraid of dogs, because people have allergies, and it doesn't matter. The Americans with Disabilities Act lays this all out very clearly. Well, right now, this is for my safety. There's no one uh, uh, you need to, you need, ooh, boy, you better look up the First Amendment. Okay. It's a publicly accessible place, and you guys are violating my rights as American with disability. I'm going to ask you to leave on your own volition, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm not leaving. Are, are you guys going to arrest me for not leaving? We're not going to arrest you until it becomes disorderly conduct or, or progresses past that. Is, am I being disorderly right now, sir? So you are causing a bit of a disturbance? I, I didn't cause it, neighbor. Understandably. I didn't cause it. They did. You feel the way you do. But technically this is a private business, and if they will determine whether or not they want something to leave, they have the opportunity. You aren't being seen yourself here, your uncle is. So you have no reason to be here other than waiting on him. And you can do that from outside. So, so if they ask you to leave. So you're you're also wanting to get sued. Because you said I'm causing a disturbance, but sir, I'm not the one that caused the disturbance. My rights being violated, the, the staff here caused the disturbance. Okay, I done nothing wrong. I done nothing wrong. Nothing. My uncle's back there sick, and this is how y'all are going to treat me. And we are taking good care of your uncle, and we will continue. Clearly you're not, because he has no idea what's going on out here right now. And I should be back there with him. And you guys are violating my rights because I have a service dog, and you don't like it. Uncle, we don't like it. It's just that we, are, we have a policy that we have to follow regarding service animals. Ma'am, you have to follow the Americans with Disabilities Act. Because respectfully, I was waiting on a supervisor to speak to them. I am a supervisor. No, they're, they're supervisor. Okay. I gave you guys every chance. I can't believe you want to get sued. I don't have time for this. This is, this is how they treat you, neighbors. Look at how I'm surrounded while my uncle's sick. This is how they treat you, neighbors. Okay. Where are we at, Officer Lang? Yeah. So I'm asking them to provide me their policy on what it says about the service animal and then allowing service animals that have proper identification. If they show me that, then... I respectfully, again, would suggest you get the lieutenant out here because it does not so matter. My partner's on the phone with their supervisor. He's currently <coughs> talking to them, um, trying to make sure that we handle it correctly. 
correctly. Mm -hmm. But I just want to I just want to again suggest that you look up that the Americans their policy does not supersede the ADA. It doesn't. I'm trying I'm trying to make sure nobody gets sued here. Please, seriously, and I just want my rights. Uh, you guys are you guys should be enforcing my rights right now, Officer Lang, not not their policy. Are you able You're, to provide that documentation that you're talking about? There's no such documentation. What, the Americans with Disabilities yeah. Act? Well I'm recording, so like I said, you guys can easily Google it. Very easily, just Google Americans with Disabilities Act service animals, and it will tell you all that. It will tell you all the laws that say they can't do this, specifically this. I've had this done to me before, and finally when we got the right officer out that was willing to look up the law, they had to let me stay. Please, sir, this is my rights. Please, you've sworn an oath to the Constitution, neighbor. Americans with Disabilities Act, service animals. It even tells you about the three times of correcting uh, if an animal's behavior is off, like where she was growling at first when that dog come in. So that's her one, okay? And I corrected the behavior as I'm required to by law. But also at the same time, she can clearly sense that I'm upset. And when I got all those people around me, I'm not able to focus on my dog. Calm. Yes, and I already answered that question. Okay, so I will tell you, she helps me with balance. If I fall over, she helps me up. If I drop, uh, drop items, she will pick them up. I only have to tell you one, but I'm trying to be nice. Okay, I can show you the filthy, vile, disgusting scars all over my body from where I was run over too, if you want. Big old holes in my back. This really isn't okay. Hopefully something good comes out of this, maybe some retraining. You see, and the problem is, everybody thinks emotional support animals are service animals. They are not. We don't get fully trained. I know. That's not your fault. I, I apologize. Yes, thank I'm you for that. For you. I don't know it, so I'm going to try and educate myself. Um, you don't mind giving me a few minutes? So I can no, sir. Look, calm, good. Teach them the law. Huh? Allow stop them from violating I, my rights. I can't do anything with that right now, but is there anything else I can do too? No, ma'am, I appreciate it though. Thank you. Okay. You said you were here to see somebody. No, I brought my uncle here. Your uncle, what is his name? A Mark neighbor guy. Huh? Mark neighbor guy. Calm. Good. This is how they're treating me, neighbors. Do you see this shit, neighbors? I guess everything happens for a reason. Calm, look, look, up. Calm, look, look, calm. Look at me, calm. Look at me, calm. You good girl, calm. Okay. 
It's okay. It's a good girl. Calm, calm, calm. Stay calm. Calm. Calm, calm. Calm, calm. Okay, so just so you guys understand what's going on, I had to bring my uncle to the hospital. He's very ill. My back is thrown out right now, and I brought my service dog. Y'all know, if you're on this channel, that I have a service dog, okay? You know I'm disabled. They're trying to violate my rights as a disabled American, and so I guess what we're going to do is we're going to make a video uh, and teach you guys about the Americans with Disabilities Act um, and, and all the mistakes that were made here today already. And hopefully they're they're getting it right that the hospital policy does not supersede the Americans with Disabilities Act federal law. Calm, calm. Look, calm. It's okay. Calm. Immediately they denied me access, uh, and her reason was the dog. And so at this point, if they force me to leave, that is the only reason that will stand in a court of law, because they tried to kick me out because of the dog. And now, unless I do something wrong um they they will be illegally forcing me out of the hospital while my uncle is uh just getting checked in and uh they're gonna get sued okay i'm giving them every chance but th this this type of behavior in the world is what makes me want to say no chances so look at me calm calm She's just laying there. The security guard brought a dog over, and his dog was being all hyper and wild. And uh, she started growling just a little bit, but I corrected the behavior as I'm allowed to by law. She's allowed to make three mistakes of the same bad behavior. So technically, she can make a thousand mistakes, but as long as it's not the same mistake each time, then they can't do chit. Unless they want to violate my rights. This is why I'm glad we have cameras these days. Nine, calm. Look, calm. It's okay. Up. Look at me. Nine, look at me. Look, 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 focus, calm. Calm, 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 calm. It's alright, while we're waiting on uncle, we'll call attorneys. Call my disability advocate as well. Nothing. My rights are being violated. Okay. Uh, can you keep a distance from me, sir, please? Sure, sure. Thank you. All right. No, I'm sorry. No, I just um, am uncomfortable with everybody up in my space right now, and I'm trying to keep a focus on my dog. Just have a conversation Calm. with you. You requested that You, you are, sir. Huh? Your name and badge number, please. I'm Corporal Webb. Corporal Webb. Okay. And your badge, badge number? 4534. 4534? Yes, sir. Okay, so basically my rights are being violated. Okay. What's okay, so as soon as What's I... Your name? My, your name? I, I, I didn't give it. Okay. Um, we'll, you? Uh, you can call me neighbor. Neighbor? Okay. Just we're neighbors. All right, neighbor. uh, so as soon as I walked in that room right there to uh, give them my uncle's wallet because he's here sick, okay, mm -hmm. don't know what's wrong with him. Maybe he's got the COVID bug. I don't know. Um, as soon as I went in there, the dog's not allowed in here. And I said, man, this is a service animal. And assuming that they would know, they can't do anything but ask two questions at that point point. Yes, and she said no 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 the dog's not allowed in here i said ma'am she's a service animal she said it doesn't matter people are afraid of dogs they have allergies and then she slammed the door on me like literally slammed the door on my physical body almost okay, okay? 
and there was no need for that, okay? And I've now been told I need to leave the hospital because of my service animal. And the Americans with Disabilities Act makes it very clear mm -hmm. that's discrimination against me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So I'm just trying to get my uncle taken care of and for them to... What's your dog trained for? Uh, she's trained to help me. Okay. Are you asking what specific task? Yeah. She, yeah, she helps me with balance. Balance? Okay. I can give you more, but I've already said it so many no, times. No, I'm tired of saying I, it. I'm sure you did. I haven't been here, though, and that's why right. I'm asking. Okay. She helps me with balance. She helps me pick up items that I drop. She helps me out of bed some days. Okay. What's her name? Her name is Angel. All right. And um, obviously, this is all a bit more than she should have to deal with, too. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, this you. is not fair, yeah, neighbor. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a little bit more information. Uh, we'll, we'll try and figure it out. Um, and, and I'll just let you know from my perspective and what I've heard thus far is is they're not specifically asking you to leave because of the dog. No, that's they did. Well, I so, so, so let me, let me, finish. Let me finish. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So they're not asking you specifically to leave because of the dog. And that's what they're telling us, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have, to, I have to go by what I'm being told on both sides, okay? Mm -hmm. So if they're saying, no, it's not the dog, it, it's it's a disruption that he's causing, okay? But I didn't cause the disruption, sir. I'm, That's I'm not, not fair. You, their nurse did. I'm not did. saying you did, but they have, they, they're still, they, they still have their own entity. They still have a right to remove people <clears> from this property for, for reasons they see fit. Now, don't get me wrong. That doesn't preclude you from, calm. See, you know. Look, look, calm. Look, look, um, focus. Calm. Focus. Calm. Good. Calm. It doesn't prove it from any legal action going forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're just we're not we're trying to find a resolution. Okay. Uh, I, I may I may I suggest one look up the camera and the the very first reason I was told to leave was because of the dog. So no other reason so, supersedes that because that is I did not cause a disturbance. Their, their nurse called security over here. Mm -hmm. I simply sat in a chair after I was told I can't go in that room. Okay, right. that's it. And therefore, everybody being out here was not my, I did not call nobody. And therefore, I know, neighbor, I study the law. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but there's one thing I do know, my rights. I got you. Okay, and so, again, you're supposed and, and to. And I'm not arguing. That. I know, but you're, Corporal, you're supposed to enforce the law. And yes. now that the situation has arisen, again, if you read the Americans with Disabilities Act, yep. it will specifically say, now that they've told me, it's just like freedom of speech, mm -hmm. okay? If I'm in a private business yep. and they ask me to leave because of my speech, they screwed up. If they don't like what I'm saying, they just say, need to say, this well, is a private business, you need to leave. The, the private business, you know, first of all, we can go down that rabbit hole if you want. First no, I don't want to, neither. From, not from private businesses tell you not how to talk, how to protection from the government. I can't stop you from your First Amendment right. But a private business can tell you we don't like the way you're talking, leave. That, that is their right. right? And that's it a, protects us from the government okay. infringing on that right. I wish I had my Supreme Court cases number memorized. That's all right. So so we're, we're, we're just trying to, like I said, we're trying to find a resolution here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not I think an apology I'm and not, education would be the per proper resolution, honestly. Not forcing me to leave so, because so of my service animal. Calm. You have to, you may Calm. Have to go through. Calm. But do you understand you're going to be named in it too if you make me leave because you're not doing proper investigation? So, you guys can look at the cameras and see that's immediately. I was immediately told to leave the hospital because of the dog. Okay. And so you can't claim that the dog or me caused a disturbance when she called security because she's not educated on the Americans with Disabilities Act. And I'm respectfully, I know it's not nobody's fault, there's not enough training on this. But at this point, we, we've established what it is, and so now, because I've mentioned that, now they wanna say he's causing a disturbance. And respectfully, Corporal, I think you know full well, neighbor, I did not cause a disturbance. They so, did. So I don't know that because I wasn't here, okay? And I wouldn't speak to that, right? Well, I think but, Officer Lang does know. I mean, you have cam they have cameras, and you can look at their cameras, so yeah. this is not okay. I got you. So you have to also understand the point of view of, obviously, your dog isn't marked, doesn't have to be marked, right? Mm -hmm. But when you walk in somewhere with a dog, if they don't know immediately, I, I they, told them, that immediately. And I was polite about it. So, I said she's a service animal. I, I felt that's you. all I should have had to say. Okay. And then I got kicked out of that room and a door slammed in my face. Okay. I mean, so she literally slammed the door they, in my face, guy. They're also God. talking about your dog was growling. 
and, yes. and there's a, three. So, no. so your dog has to be controlled at all times yep. as a service animal as well. Corporal, corporal. Correct, correct, neighbor? Yes, but, yes, but three times mm -hmm. for the behavior. I'm allowed to correct her three times okay. before that can be the problem. They had a dog over here, and that dog was going hyper and everything else. I've got 10 people around me, and everybody's trying that to talk. Dog, that dog's also working. Everybody's trying. I understand. Right. Everybody's trying to talk to me, and so I had no opportunity at that moment. Just like right now, this is, this is not okay. I am encircled still by people because I have a service animal, and they don't like it. I understand their perspective. That's why I said it's not their fault because they weren't properly trained, but at this point, everybody is open to lawsuit unless my rights are honored here right now. And if that is the case, then everybody's fine. We all go home to, at the end of the day. That's it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apologize to you that the door was slammed in your face. That is not the intention. I think from the nurse's perspective, she did not know that he was a service I, I made it well so aware. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for that. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We, if you can first stop recording, second, stay calm. I won't stop recording. Okay, then I, can't, I will not let you into our ER. I can do this, but I need to protect myself. Please That's understand fine. that. Nobody is telling you you cannot have a service. No, I said I can do this in audio only. That's I'm not. The doors is photographing and videotaping are prohibited in the emergency department, in the hospital itself. It's a hospital policy. Can you abide by that rule? And I will let you back to see your uncle. He is hurting. He are we good? Yes, him. absolutely. But you if you're going to quit recording. If you're, if you're going to honor my rights. I am going to honor your rights. Okay. But you, I need you to understand that you are a visitor in our I understand. You're not a patient. I understand. Okay, so as you saw, neighbors, um, I shut the camera off at the end of that video, and they let me back in the room. And so the other problem was that the entire time I was there, I was in and out. Uh, you like my messy hair, neighbors? I was in and out of the uh, ER because I had to inform family of what's going on. Uh, and I had to go out and smoke and I went off their campus um, honoring their signs of snow, no smoking campus even though I only have to be a certain amount of feet from an entrance uh, private business or not you know um, basically uh, the, the patient advocate Sarah Berry just called me here recently and I have that phone call um, for you as well uh, basically telling me our, we have determined that our policies do allow you uh, to bring your your service animal here to see your uncle. And I had to tell her, I don't give a shit about your hospital's policies. No matter what business it is, unless it's a sterile environment like a burn unit or a surgical unit, they cannot refuse my service animal. And they're still stuck on, just like the police are stuck on, policies, policies, policies. American citizens, know your goddamn rights, okay? First Amendment, freedom of speech, okay? Freedom from prosecution, unreasonable searches and seizures of your person's places and property. Okay, neighbors? I'm sorry I quoted that wrong. But basically, I hope you guys uh, learned from this. Uh, educated, especially those of my neighbors, subscribers, and new subscribers that are subscribing to the channel right now uh, that are disabled. Know your rights. Okay? You have super, super, super protected rights under the ADA of 1990. Uh, the, the 2004 and 2010 revision of those made it even more stringent. Please understand there's a difference between an emotional support animal and a service animal, okay? Emotional support animals are not protected under the ADA. Uh, a lot of people think they are, but they are not. Now, as a disabled person, if I have an emotional support animal, I can request that they provide reasonable accommodation uh, for me to enjoy their services or whatever it might be, use their services, their goods, etc., etc. And the the business can deny it, but there's something called uh, the, uh, damn it, neighbors, my mind's going blank because my printer's out of ink. I tried to print all this stuff down and highlight it so I'd have it for you, but I'm a mess. I'm worried about my uncle right now. But at the same time, this is important shit. Um, it, it, it's the AHH, I think it's called, or AHA. And basically, if you're denied reasonable accommodation as a disabled American, and it doesn't fundamentally alter, if your reasonable accommodation does not fundament fundamentally alter the goods or services at that place of business or private business, um, them denying uh, an emotional support animal as a reasonable accommodation is a lawsuit. Uh, please understand this stuff, you guys, and share it with your friends. So what do we say? Until next time, be kind to one another. Everyone's facing a battle. I'm in excruciating pain.
I'm traumatized by today's events. And I came home to clean shit out of my uncle's bed because he wanted to wait until he came home and did it himself. And he was stressed about it and to call his work because he's afraid of losing his job. My uncle's in critical care, AFib, and he's had septic, uh, an infection that's gone septic into his entire body. Okay, not long after I left the hospital this morning to come home and take care of this stuff, I get a call that he's in critical care. So neighbors, remember, fucking be kind to one another. Everyone is facing a battle. This is just a fraction of mine. Love all 8 billion of you, goddammit. Even though I suck at it, 